the way you swaddle your baby, does that have anything to do with this, or is... So it's certainly not a cause. Okay. Um, but swaddling in a baby that does have hip dysplasia, it can predispose them to a hip dislocation. So if you think of that baby that has a shallow hip and you put them in this swaddled position where the knees are coming together, it makes it so that that hip can slide out the back. And so we don't recommend swaddling mm -hmm. a, an infant with hip dysplasia for that reason. You can still swaddle the upper body um, to give them all right, that, that snuggle comfort. All right, and when you go, uh, when you have a baby, and you go to the pediatrician, and they do all these things where they're going like this with the legs and this with the arms, so that's what they're looking for when they're moving the legs. They want to make sure it moves correctly. If it doesn't, then that's a sign that there might be a problem. Correct. Correct? Okay, I'm yes. just making sure. And uh, when you uh, see that there's an issue, what if you don't treat it? What happens? So. Treating hip dysplasia is very important to do early, and that is because of the way that the baby is still developing after birth and that that hip really develops by articulating with each other. Mm -hmm. So if that ball and socket aren't in the right place, then that, that cup doesn't get deep or the <clears> ball <throat> doesn't stay round, uh, and that can lead to problems in the future. So mm -hmm. if you have a shallow hip, as a toddler and you're walking, then that hip can move and cause pain. Okay, and I think you, you said something about you, you take an ultrasound if you, you feel something is, is not quite right? Correct. So we have, I think we have an ultrasound to kind of show what, what we're talking about. Um, okay, okay, so, so this is a baby, is a baby getting, getting an ultrasound, ultrasound and Aww. it's really simple, it's painless. Uh, but this is because their hips, like I said, are still cartilage, mm -hmm. you can't see this on x-ray, so it's really important to have that ultrasound to show that that ball is in the socket. Okay.